and welcome to this home crafts video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make container candles in your own home. For this process I'm going to be using a wax melting pot, a wax pouring jug, some soya container wax, containers, fragrance oil, a pair of pliers and some wick sustainers, some wick, some wick rods and some candle or blue tack. This soya container wax is specially designed to be used with container candles. It doesn't shrink as much as normal paraffin wax, which means it doesn't pull away from the sides of your container when you're making and cooling your candles. The first step is to pour it into your melting pot and wait for the wax to melt. Once your wax is melting, it's time to start preparing your containers. First you'll need to take some of your wick and one wick sustainer per container that you're planning to fill. Thread the end of the wick through the wick sustainer until you have wick which is taller than the height of your container. Then take some pliers and crimp the sustainer in place. Snip the wick just below the sustainer and it's ready to dip into your melted wax. Dip the wick into the wax and hold it straight until it dries. Once it's dry, you'll see that it holds its shape and this is perfect for a container candle. Use some scissors to snip below the wick sustainer so you have a flat base. Place the wick into the container. Make sure that you've got plenty of wick spare at the top of the container. We now need to hold this in position using some blue tack or candle tack and wick rods. Take some blue tack or candle tack and fix it to each side at the top of your container. Position one wick rod roughly in the centre. Insert your wick and position another wick rod on the other side of the wick to hold it in place. The container is now ready to be filled with your wax. Check the temperature of your soil wax. The ideal pouring temperature for this kind of wax is between 40 and 60 degrees centigrade. But the closer the temperature of the wax to the temperature of the container you're pouring into, the less shrinkage you'll experience when the wax cools. When your wax has melted completely, pour it into a wax jug. If you're adding a fragrance, this is the time to do it. A few drops is normally enough. Once you've added your fragrance, pour into the container. And leave it to set. Once your wax is set, your container candles are finished and they're ready to burn. You don't need to feel restricted by using small containers like this. Why not make a garden candle?